Hey, what's up guys? This is Spino and uh, this is the third time I'm trying to record this video. Uh, the first time uh, uh, I ran out of uh, memory on my uh, camera. The second time my Wii U froze up because the first thing I want to show you guys is uh, a game I actually downloaded. So. Uh, I'm going to move the camera to my uh, Wii U pad and show you guys this game. It's uh, Balloon Fight. A game I actually had back in the 80s on my NES. And um, it's the first virtual console game they released for the Wii U. And right now they're celebrating uh, uh, the Famicom's uh, 30 years anniversary by pre-releasing some um, games for the Virtual Console on Wii U. And as you can see, you can play them on your gamepad. And it's pretty awesome. So, uh, all the games they... Uh, release now will be up for 30 days and cost 30 cents and um, you will be able to get games like uh, Super Metroid for example one of these uh, month upcoming month I believe it's six or seven games in total uh, so yeah that's uh, pretty awesome and let's uh, put this back. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's move on. Uh, I also picked up uh, Sonic and All Star Racing Transform for the Wii U. Uh, this special edition. Uh, I believe this is the same as the limited edition, but I'm, I'm not sure because it's called limited edition on all the other consoles, but on the Wii U it's called special edition for some reason and I know it's called something else in uh, America, but in Europe it's called uh, special edition. I actually tried to get this game uh, last month I believe uh, but it was like totally impossible <laughs> it was sold out everywhere uh, but I managed to find a store uh, online that sold them so uh, the price was uh, okay I can't complain uh, I also picked up some games for the Wii um, WWE All Stars uh, I'm 100% sure this game is going to suck monkey balls but I don't care because <laughs> it, it got all the characters uh, I mean I don't watch wrestling but when I was a kid back in the 80s I used to love watching WWF and the, even in the 90s I would say and uh, my favorite wrestler in the 80s was uh, Macho Man Randy Savage and uh, in the 90s Bertie Hitman Hart and both of those uh, characters is in this game so uh, that's pretty cool and um, a bunch of other awesome characters they used to love um, it does miss a few characters though like yeah, Owen Hart for example is not in it um, Ric Flair, he's not in it. Uh, the British Bulldog, he's not in it. Um, Razor Ramon, and a few others. Uh, the other game I picked up was The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of Dragons. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, playing Giants, so I thought would be a 
fun to see how the Spyro games was before the toys, <laughs> kinda. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a go and uh, see if I enjoy it or not. And the last game I picked up, I picked up um, a few extras as well. So, but the last game I picked up was actually for the PC, and it's um, the first Skylanders game. Uh, I tried to get this on the Wii, but that was like totally impossible. Uh, sold out everywhere. I mean. You can get like a million of these for the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360. But for the Wii? No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so uh, I pick it up for the PC. And the problem with picking, picking, picking it up for the PC is uh, my PC is in my bedroom. And uh, I don't really have that much space and the portal of powers and all the characters it takes up quite a lot of space so and that might be a problem that's why I wanted it for the Wii so I could have it here in my living room and uh, so let's move on to the extras uh, I picked up uh, the classic controller pro for the Wii the black one they had a red one as well. Uh, the red one was like one buck more. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, you can actually, uh, to be honest, I picked it up uh, mostly because of Mario Kart. Because I need one of these <laughs> to play that fucking game. Uh, the wheel doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Um, but you can actually use that on um, some of the games for the Wii U as well, like yeah, the one I just picked up, this one. So I'm making also racing transform. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. Nope, nope, maybe. Yeah, you can see it there. I believe uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I believe uh, it works on giants as well. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Uh, so I picked that one up, and I picked up uh, Dragon's Peak Adventure Pack for uh, Skylanders. This works on uh, both the Skylanders uh, games. And what you get is uh, a character, in this case Sunburn, and you get the uh, adventure thingy, the extra map, uh, Dragon's Peak, and then uh, two bonus items. Um, I'm not really sure what the hell those are for. I believe uh, this one is a pet uh, that does nothing. <laughs> Uh, but I'm not sure what the boots does. It might be a weapon of some kind, I'm not sure. And I picked up uh, Pirate Seas Adventure Pack. And uh, I was quite happy that I found this because this was the absolutely last one I could find in any of my stores <laughs> in my local area. Um, and you get uh, Teraphine and the, the pirate ship is the extra level that you get and uh, two extra items and once again I'm not sure about those but I believe you get some uh, in-game uh, money for the chest and uh, that the swords are a weapon I'm not 100% sure but I believe that's the case and uh, I also picked up uh, Empire of Ice Adventure Pack this is the adventure pack that they still have in pretty much every store 
this is the only adventure pack you will find in pretty much uh, every store and you get the uh, slam bag you get the the, the extra level and uh, you gotta collect them all <laughs> and uh, two extra items which I don't have a clue what the hell they do probably some weapon of some kind I'm not I'm not sure so I'm not gonna say <laughs> and uh, the last the last thing I picked up was uh, a glow-in-the-dark Fright Rider um, I ordered this one um, online and it came in not the best condition <laughs> I would say for a brand new item but oh well what can you do that's it